Due to the League Cup final, there was a limited Premier League schedule this weekend. So let's review the 8 games from the top fight of English football. Swansea's renaissance under Paul Clement hit a little bit of a roadblock in the form of Chelsea on Saturday, with the league leaders beating the Swans 3-1 at Stamford Bridge. Cesc Fabregas marked his 300th Premier League game with a goal and an assist. Yet again it was another miserable afternoon for Sunderland as the Everton A team beat the Everton B team 2-0 at Goodison Park. Even the returning Jordan Pickford couldn't help matters, but I suppose it might have been more than two if he hadn't played. In what was a cliched relegation six-pointer, Crystal Palace beat Middlesbrough 1-0 at Southhurst Park, with Patrick Van Aanholt showing exactly why Sam Allardyce brought him to the club, scoring the winner. Well, he certainly didn't sign him for his defensive ability. Elsewhere at the bottom, Hull drew 1-1 with Burnley, meaning Marco Silva's side missed the chance to move out the bottom three. Alas, he still looks like Colin Farrell. West Brom beat Bournemouth 2-1 at the Hawthorns, meaning the Baggies have reached the magic 40 point mark with 12 games to spare. Get yourselves on your holidays lads, the season's over for you. In the evening kickoff, Watford and West Ham shared the points, drawing 1-1. On the Sunday now, and with Man City not in action, Tottenham moved into second place, hammering Stoke 4-0 at White Hart Lane, with Harry Kane bagging himself another hat-trick. The England forward had to fight referee John Moss for the ball at the end of the game though, with one of his goals potentially going down as an own goal. If the dubious goal panel do decide that it wasn't Kane's goal, I can hardly imagine he's going to send the ball back in the post. And finally, do you remember those Leicester players who won the Premier League, turned to mush the following season, found themselves in a relegation battle and got Claudio Ranieri sacked? Yeah, they beat Liverpool 3-1 in their first game without the Italian, with Jamie Vardy and Danny Drinkwater getting on the score sheet. We can actually get live pictures from the Leicester dressing room right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.